was about to put my head down and say my grace while I'm driving. What? Girl, why was it a spider crawling on me and I went off? Oh, Good morning. Actually, yeah, it's still morning. Um, on Saturday, the 30th of March. Um, how y'all doing this morning? It's going to be a beautiful, it's already a beautiful day, but it's going to be even nicer today. The weather is going to be in the 70s, the low 70s. So y'all know what that means. It's going to be yard day. So I'm going to try my best to, um, get some footage of yard work and garden work um but right now i'm headed to the feed store to get fertilizer grass seed and i just picked up my dad's wheelbarrow and um my husband went to get soil so we splitting up the task today and i'm gonna set my um girl why was it a spider crawling on me and i went off and it was like probably a pinhead size, but I don't do bugs, spiders. Um, it's going to, what was that girl say? I don't forget. Oh my gosh. I just realized I can't even get into the house because my husband has a garage opener and I didn't bring one out with me. So I'm just going to have to sit in the driveway. I am leaving 7-Eleven. Um, got myself a coffee and a honey bun did i need the honey bun nope but i figure like this i'm about to be in the yard who knows how long at least until about 3 30 because we have to take the truck back by four so i'm feeling like i'm gonna work it off anyway right i mean that's the hope but this coffee though mm, needed this Oh, so good. So good. Um, I get the 70, my honey bun. I always get the, I like the honey buns with the white icing. Um, I'm gonna put some of these in my wish list. <laughs> he is greedy. But 7-Eleven coffee, I like to get the half breakfast blend and half reserve. Or if they don't have the reserve, then I get half breakfast blend, half Brazilian. So that's my mix of coffee. And sometimes I do it black. Most of the time I like black coffee. Uh, today I wanted a little creamer in my coffee. So I got two vanilla creams. Mm, I ain't bust my food. Hold on. Oh, I can't put my. I was about to put my head down and say my grace while I'm driving. What? Okay. Lord bless this donut that I'm eating. Bless the hands and the company that prepared it. Please remove any impurities from it. I mean, I know it's a donut, but, you know, bless it in the name of Jesus. Thank you that I was able to get this donut. And I just thank you. Amen. Hmm. Must be. Girl, that house right there, they got some of everything. They got bounce houses. I thought it was going to be somebody's birthday one day. But no, they just own bounce houses. How much they would charge to rent it out i mean i don't have no kids that i need a bounce house for but it could be a, a lucrative um business for them all right well i'm gonna sit in this car once i pull in the driveway and just well i'm gonna pull in front of the house because we need the driveway free and clear and um i'll check in with y'all in a little while all right, y'all, this is what the yard looks like right now. I'm in the car, so I didn't actually get to zoom in because we were really working trying to move all that dirt. Um, and we have it all along the other side of the driveway. And we did like, you know how the patches of grass in front of your house along the sidewalk? I did not eat all that honey bun at first, so I'm gonna finish it now. Cause I need a little nourishment. Um, so <clears throat> taking the truck back and taking the wheelbarrow back to my dad. I like the other honey buns better. I think 
that I look bare on the front. I know I look greasy. But when I get back, I'll show y'all the backyard. Because I did start moving and I'm dirty. But I did start moving those leaves around. And I saw um, my raspberry bush has spread. So now I'm mad that it's not in a container. But I put bricks around it. I don't know if that's going to help it to kind of stay, but I, it's spreading underground. So I pulled up some of the ones that had spread and um, they have roots on them. So I just redug and put it inside. And I took a tomato cage so that the raspberry bush can start to grow up. It is tall. All right, y'all, I am now in um, at Home Depot, just looking at um, everything they have. I gotta go, oh, I wanna, I really want a hibiscus. Look how pretty that is. And then they have a yellow one too. I'm trying to see. Want any. That's so pretty. I need some lemongrass. All right, so I'm out at the um. I'm trying to go over to the garden center to see. I'm looking for some things in particular. Like I want some lemongrass. Definitely want some um um lavender. I don't know that they will have that because I don't normally buy my gardening stuff from Home Depot. This is the first time I'm here looking. So I want to see how much their stuff, <gasps> their plants are cheaper than um, Lowe's. They're $3.98 here. Lowe's, they are 4 and $5. Is that a key lime tree? They do, they have a key lime tree. Oh my gosh, how much is it? 60 bucks. They have quite a few key lime trees and um, mandarin orange, clementine, 60 bucks. That's really not bad. These are blackberry and raspberry. And then they have some figs, blueberries. That's $14.98 for the blueberry. Oh, they're all $14.98. Let me see how much the ones on the inside are. And then the strawberries are over there. All right, so plenty of tomatoes like normal. See, they, these are $4.98 and $5.98. I like the price of those better over there. Um, strawberries. This is where I want to be. I want to be with the herbs. Let me see. Five seventy-eight, and I normally get cheaper herbs at the farmers market. So I'm thinking I might wait until I go to the farmers market to get my herbs. What y'all think? All right, back home, and I'm about to set up this tripod real quick. Try not to break my ankles, my legs, break nothing. Um, all right. Ooh. I'm trying to set this tripod up so that I can get a little bit of footage of what I'm doing here. It's not any light for real, like talking about it out here, so... I don't know what y'all gonna be able to see, what you're not gonna be able to see. I don't know. Bought some plants from the store. So I bought a raspberry, another raspberry bush, a, two blueberry bushes, some mint. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant that stuff and get back over there. Let me show y'all. I think I'm, did I show y'all this earlier, what I had done? All right, you should be able to see in that corner, I stood the raspberry bush up. And I got quite a bit of the leaves up from over there. The soil, soil is still good. And now I'm just cleaning up over here. Now you can see. So there's the blueberry, I mean the raspberry bush. Right there. And you can see where it actually spread. Right there and right there. A few sprigs. This one, I don't know. I've yank this one up by accident so i don't know if it's gonna die completely or what it's gonna do but i yanked it up by mistake now i'm just gonna um 
go out here and um, plant these mint plants that I bought and probably going to go ahead and put my blueberry bushes and probably the raspberry bush. I'm going to actually grow those in grow bags because I was reading that you can actually grow them in grow bags. Let me give y'all a little update on what's over here. Right here, we have like a little mint bush. I'm going to put one right here and probably another one right here just to fill it in some because I know it's going to eventually fill in on its own, but I'm going to give it a little bit of assistance. All right, I know I probably told y'all this before, but if you go to your local grocery store and they have the um, herbs that are in bags, you can, and even if they have it sort of just cut, you can shave the end, sit it in water so it can root. But if you buy them and they're already potted like this, you can just take this out and put it in your yard or in a planter box wherever you want to put your plants. So I bought two because I love mint. I love it in my tea. I love it in foods. Like mint is my jam. So, and look, this one is already getting a um, runner. So this is going to be a good one. These were $2.98 at Lidl. But you, a lot of grocery stores sell the, um, the, the potted herbs. And look, there's another runner in that one. So... They're gonna spread it. And I I actually want them to spread it for this entire area, so <laughs> Another thing you can do, keep these if you're gonna be um, starting seeds, you can use these as seed starter cups. This is the little dill plant that I bought. Um, I don't know how I always manage to get one that's broken, but I'm gonna plant the whole thing. I'm gonna plant this right now because according to Alexa, she said that now I can plant dill in my area. So, we're gonna plant it and see. I've been planting my dill with like all of my other herbs, and I just learned that it grows best with lemon balm, mint, a couple of marjoram, a couple of other things. So, I'm actually gonna plant my lemon, I mean, my dill over here by the mint and see how it does because it didn't do well on the other side. So I'm going to dig a little place and put it and I'm probably going to go buy another mint plant. I mean, another dill plant because I'm for some reason me planting dill seeds, it just does not do well. So if y'all have any tips on how I can grow um, a good harvest of dill, drop down in the comments, y'all, and tell me how I can do better with growing my dill. All right. So in Lidl, these are five dollars. I got a blueberry. Well, got two blueberries. And since I already have the raspberry plant, I bought one more. They had grapes, figs, and I'm debating whether or not I want to go back and get fig because I like figs. So I may go get a fig and they had grapes, but we had grapes growing up. They are not the easiest to tend to, in my opinion. Um, so, you yeah, know. And I'm gonna dig my strawberries up, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because the weather's supposed to be nice tomorrow. So I'll probably do it after church. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plant this deal. I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back tomorrow when I finish up working out here uh, in the yard. I might go get another deal plant tomorrow on my way home from church because I feel like, and it was only $3.98, I think. Yeah, three ninety eight. So I think if I get two more of these and plant them over here, I might do pretty good. So let me put this phone down. Right now, it's just 
enlarging, making a larger space for my tomatoes because I'm gonna keep those in ground because they did so well last year. So I'm just moving my bricks out just a little bit further. I dug out quite a bit out of here so I'm gonna do my tomatoes in here and if I can get this brick right here it's not level at all but if I can get that brick down then I'm gonna do cucumbers and tomatoes like this whole row will be cucumbers and tomatoes I think it's onions still coming up from last year that I have planted. Onions right there and onions right there. But I like the way it looks, it's really clean. I need to pull out things like this that are coming from under the, the fence there. It looks pretty good. Oh, the sky is so pretty. So um, I need to water down there because I have some carrot seeds down here. I just need to water it, put some cardboard over it. Then I'm going in the house, take a shower and cook something to eat because guess what have not eaten other than i had some golden berries and that honey bun all day happy resurrection sunday or happy easter whichever you prefer he is risen aren't y'all glad about it for those of you who believe aren't you so glad take the exit that he got up out of that grave rolled the stone away in about about three miles, about, take exit like, four onto Chestnut cool Avenue. Because he did it all for me. And you, if you believe. And you, if you don't even believe, he did it for you. He did it for you if you don't even believe. Why? Because he loves us just that much. I'm so thankful. Um, headed to church right now. My niece is um, praise dancing today. So, I am definitely going to be there. Um, couldn't miss it, can't miss it. But it's going to be a beautiful day. Weather wise, I'm just, my phone keeps falling. Um, Y'all, I need to start using my camera. I paid the money for it, now I need to use it. Like, for real, for real. So, I need to figure out how to set it up so I can use it outside like I did a handheld last week but um I want to get a suction thing for my phone my camera in two miles take exit four onto Chestnut Avenue that way I can use that instead of my phone because right now you know I'm, on, I'm still on my phone which there's absolutely nothing wrong with my phone I just knew knew I needed a camera because I just keep running out of space on my phone it, it just got ridiculous to the point where I was frustrated and so y'all know i love me some pay as you go and that's what i did on amazon i got my camera and did a pay as you go i know some people are like why because it's my business and that's what i needed to do oh was that ugly on this resurrection sunday i hope not one day i won't have to do pay as you go i'm claiming that for me and for you if that's what you want yes i'm claiming that living in abundance and prosperity Yes, in all areas of my life. Health, wealth, whole. I just want to be whole all the way around, living in prosperity and abundance. And that's physically, that's mentally, that's financially, um, all of it. All of it. Um, are you trying to live in abundance? Are you trying to live in prosperity? I hope so. I don't even know why I pull up the directions to church when I know exactly how to get there. It's my sister's church, but I know how to get there. I've been there a million and a half times. Okay. Um, but I really do it more so for the time to see what how long it's gonna take me to get there. It's my exit, ain't it? Yep, just that. Take the exit. But uh. <laughs>
Corinthians chapter 15 verses 12 through 20. I'll say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead. But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ is not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead raised not. For if the dead raised not, then is not Christ risen? And if Christ is not risen, your faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. The 20th verse says, but now is Christ risen from the dead. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that slept. It's 1120, so your neighbor might not um, have had their coffee, <laughs> their orange juice. They might have not woken up yet. So if they're not smiling, and some folk ain't smiling at all. So don't you look at that. Don't look at that thing. The gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. How many individuals do you know who died and laid buried for three days and came back to life from the grave? However, the story of Jesus' resurrection is not a fable. It is a documented event. Even in the church at Corinth, All right. they were having some difficulty, some, some, some controversy, believing this story of Jesus' resurrection. Come up out of the grave. Yeah. Our hope of eternal life depends on the truth that Jesus Christ is the sinless son of God whose death and paid the price for our sins and our guilt. Yeah. And we have nothing and we've been vindicated by God raising him from the grave. Romans 1 and 4 says we are shown his divine holiness mm -hmm. and the great power of the son of God mm -hmm. by him being raised from the dead. So without this, we have no sinless savior, no high priest yeah. who always lives to intercede on our behalf for us. Florence, Jesus is mine. Yeah. Oh, what a foretaste yeah. of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation. I've been purchased by his blood, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. And is there anybody here got a story today, a testimony that God gives? Because every now and then, you can feel him moving on the inside. There's healing in the rhythm.
resurrection for us. Hope in the resurrection for us. Deliverance in the resurrection for us. Uh, church is over. It was good. I told my niece they done made me cry my little bit of eyeliner off. Really good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And I am, um, and the sermon was good too. It wasn't long at all. Um, girl, not the church having a sign to say free parking. Come join us today at 10 a.m. <laughs> what? Free parking? <laughs> Churches be parking? Charging people to park? Oh. What? Okay, so this is not as easy as I thought it would be. Um, this fabric don't want to sit still. <laughs> oh my gosh. The way I had it set in my mind was that it was going to go in here much easier than this. And it probably would be if I didn't have this big old pile of leaves right in front of me. Girl, this is not... I mean... Mm. Mm -mm. Let me show y'all what it looked like so far. Okay, so see how it's all puckled and wrinkled? It's not exactly straight, but I mean, it'll do because I just really wanted a barrier. <clears throat> oh my God, my allergies. <clears throat> I just really wanted a barrier down here before I put soil in here and sticks and stuff. So it's going to be just fine. All right, so I got the top one done. So I don't have any drainage holes, so I got to put some drainage holes in it. And that's what I'm getting ready to do now. I want to make sure that I'm putting enough drainage holes because the last time I did not have enough drainage holes in my planter boxes and I'm going to go ahead and drill some extra holes in that as well since I have to drill out here. And since the fabric is already in the bottom of this one, I'm gonna see if I can go from the bottom and drill up and hopefully it doesn't um, tear the fabric too much. So let's see if we can get this. Let's see if that works. It works, it's just easier for me to hold the fabric down and do it from the top. Okay, so this is what the top layer looks like. It's not perfect. But at least I have the fabric in. Oh, I got to cover that part. But I have the fabric in all the way down. I put some leaves in here and some, um, I'm trying to take out anything that looks like there's a weed. Um, and I have some twigs in here just because I've learned that you can do that to try to build it up so that you don't have to put like bags and bags of soil in here. But that's what the top layer looks like. All right, so the bottom one i filled it with leaves i didn't have any more twigs i'm pretty sure there's some in the yard i just don't feel like going to look and then i transplanted the strawberries up here and i have room for more in here i have this netting this green netting i have like a lot of it what i'm gonna do is staple this to cover the top of the box where the strawberries are and anything that fruits uh that i plant in there i'm gonna cover it with this and then I'm going to put chicken wire over top of it. And the chicken wire is in there. The reason I'm going to use this and chicken wire is because this will keep the birds out. The chicken wire will keep squirrels out. One last thing. I do have four cabbage plants here that need to be planted. So I really need to get some soil this week. And I'm probably going to put those in either five. I think I should be able to use a five gallon grow bag, if not 10 or five or seven. I'm gonna look online to see which size you should use for cabbage, um, individual cabbage plants, cause, and I'm gonna need four. So yeah, I'm gonna get that done this week and get all of my seeds started, get them on the heat mat. And um, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. Um, I should have everything done for my prep of like my seeds and everything by friday and yeah that's gonna end this this weekend's vlog hope you enjoyed it um next video you will see is going to be probably a cooking video uh, i think that was all for this weekend i'll talk to you later bye